Hey, shalom, shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweshai, Ba'ashim Racha HaKwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. Uh, real quick, okay, um, some of uh, news, you know, coming from throughout this, throughout the day. First one coming, it says, uh, Seattle Police Department and fire um, walking up the stairs of Seattle's City Hall to turn in their boots. These these are, I'm guessing, uh, these are excellent officers and fire, fighter fighters with years of service that truly can be replaced. And as you see here, Okay, all right, it says uh, saying goodbyes. And basically what's happening um, in Seattle and in, you know, all across America, I've seen another, um, I've seen somebody say that, uh, I believe it was Washington State, lost um, 127 uh, state troopers today. And this is all because of the, you know, the, the dates that, you know, these um, individuals are you know uh, uh not you know not attending okay they're not attending these uh dates with Vanessa so because they're working in the public sector all right uh and I'm guessing their um their deadline was reached they have decided to you know uh go along with not meeting the dates and therefore being forced to uh resign or being terminated Okay, and, and and you know this is going to cause a lot of turmoil in these various different um, you know uh, states, and especially in these inner cities. Okay, you had um, over there in Chicago um, over the weekend. They were saying that about almost fifty percent of the police uh, force in Chicago was going to end up having to you know resign or be terminated because they haven't you know. Uh, 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 set up a date with Vanessa as well. All right. And, you know, this just came through breaking news about, I'll say, 20, 20 minutes ago. And, and expect more and more of this and expect this actually, not this, and expect this actually to turn into uh, real action. Okay. Because right here, as you see, it says bomb threat reported at Department of Labor near U.S. Capitol. All right. Bomb threat reported at Department of Labor near U.S. Capitol. And why do you think there was there's bomb threats at the Department of Labor? OK, these are federal, you know, buildings. Right. But why do you think there, this, the, there was a bomb threat there? It says a bomb threat has been reported near the U.S. Capitol at the Department of Labor, according to Capitol Police. Capitol Police sent alert to the staff announcing announcing road closures due to a bomb threat at the Department of Labor. This is the second bomb threat on the Capitol grounds in two months, and the third time USCP has had to close nearby roads to respond to an incident. Update, according to the message delivered to congressional staff, the bomb threat has been resolved and all roads closures have been reopened. Now, there's two ways you can look at this, okay? <laughs> because, you know, when I seen this, it made me think of uh, what Obama did back in, the, I believe, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say his first round of presidency, okay? It could be a second, but I'm, I want to say it was his first round of presidency, no, actually, it was the second round of presidency when he was uh, passing all these different uh, um, executive laws, allowing the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Agriculture, the uh, Department of I don't know, the Department of Labor was one of them.
but I remember the, the postal service was one of them as well. Um, giving them all, uh, uh, machine, not my machine guns and hollow tip bullets. All right. He was giving them uh, millions uh, of hollow tip bullets to these different various departments, you know, that's supposed to be working for the people. And this is back, like I said, this is back during Obama's presidency, which was, which is obviously over about what, over seven, eight years ago. Okay. Well, six, seven years ago, rather. Okay. But now you're seeing what all these things could lead to. So now this bomb threat, it could be fake, uh, fictitious, or right? it could be something that you saw, you know, the government, uh, the, the, the hidden, you know, these elites are planning so that they could actually bring in, you know, a, uh, uh, cause a problem, cause a, uh, a, uh, uh, you know, a FF, you know, a, a, uh, you know, I can't even say the word, but we're just going to say a freaky flag. Okay. <laughs> Cause a cause a flag to happen, and then be uh, uh, justified in bringing in you know his uh, this police state, or this could be an actual real bomb threat, right? Because of the tensions, because of the anger that the uh, that these people that are you know losing their jobs are being forced to quit, are being terminated because of these dates. And, you know, and they're getting frustrated. They're getting upset at their government. And, you know, they end up doing something uh, like this. OK. And these bomb threats may very well well soon will turn into actual actions because as it is prophesied that these people are going to become what? Uh, uh, not have any regard for their kings or, or, or priests, uh, princes. Let's get that in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15. 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 15. It says, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And there shall be sedition among men. Okay? Incitement. All right, uh, uh, men, you know, uh, 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 Causing other people to get to, to 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 move against you know the authority, all right, which would be what the government. It says in invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, so all these different uh, restrictions, these draconian laws, all right, people being forced to quit their jobs, all right, these supply chains uh, uh, disruptions. Okay, these um, shortages and in, in goods and services, all these things are, are causing anxiety, it's causing, you know, uh, frustration, it's causing anger, and it's causing hatred to brew up here in Babylon, man, which is, is going to get to the tipping point, and that's when all hell is going to break loose, all right? And, 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 and you're going to see people acting, you know, completely barbaric, completely irrational. All right, and people are ready to do so, man. As as Yahweh Shai said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, and we go into that word cold, it's uh, psyche, <laughs> right? Meaning what? The psyche, you know, that's what they get, you, you know, the word psyche is um, synonymous with, with mind, okay? That's why you got like psychopaths, because their mind is cold. Psychopaths, or somebody psychopathic, uh, um, their mind is cold. You know, they're just, you know, all they know is, 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 is violence. And that's, what's going to happen uh, to these Babylonians, to these, to these people, to these, uh, uh, so-called Americans out here because of all of the, all of the scourges that is, uh, you know, uh, uh being put in this place, the, the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But like I said, you know, we are just going to continue to watch what happens with, you know, with, when it comes to this, because as I said, this is a second bomb threat on capital on on the capital grounds in two months. So don't be surprised if this is you know a, a flag that Esau is throwing out, and then ultimately he causes a, a, a F flag, so that something happens in 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 one of these you know um, federal buildings, uh, 
and then they'll be justified to bring in that that uh, militarized police state. Okay, saying that what they can't, you know, they 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 got to bring in, you know, some outside authorities to handle, you know, to to you know handle all of the 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 policing. All right, those uh, UN peacekeepers. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I'm in that there, Lord willing. You know, we're just gonna continue to watch these things. And, you know, watch the work, the Lord work. All right, uh, it's, we're in the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's judgment and visitation upon this world, man. You know, so we gotta stay locked in, stay uh, prayed up, and stay watching, as Yahweh Shai said. You know, so with that, till next time, call Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhakudash Shalom.